All right. Welcome. Hello, world. Ah, I started exactly at 8.30. It's kind of funny. Well, I mean, not exactly, exactly, because there's seconds involved, and microseconds and milliseconds, all that jazz. Wait, well, you know, right at 8.30. Humanist. To, to the minute, not to the second. Uh, oh, yeah. I should set up a little timer that lets me know how long the stream's been going, like, on this page. I could, like, hit a button and have it be, like, counting down or counting up or whatever, so I can see it. Uh, so I'm going to run... I'll close this. Oh, look at the little ghosterly thing is... Light, light blue. I don't like that light blue. I'm I'm into like light blue stuff these days. The uh, Visual Studio Code, like I really like its blue. Um, get chat where I can see it. Okay, mostly. So, spent a lot of time recently working on this NASA video thing, and it was working. And then I have fed it some more stuff and it's not working and that is frustrating so i'm gonna back away from a minute i'm gonna i'm gonna maybe get some runs going while we're doing the rest of this stuff but let me clear the log just to make sure it's all the way out and then what should happen too is it shouldn't remove the json file i want that to exist it shouldn't have removed it anyways, because I've got debug set to true. Make sure I'm doing that math right. So if not debug, which would be false. And just to confirm when we run it, debug is set to true. Okay. So, okay, we're gonna run this and then we're gonna walk away from it and see what happens. Which will slow down the machine, but that's okay. For now, so we run that. All right. What we're also gonna do, or what we're really gonna do, is start playing around with Drupal. Django. I definitely meant Django. Dude, what did I say? Drupal, yep. I do that all the time. And then let me just do, I don't think it matters if I show you the stream dashboard, but we're not gonna do that anyways. I don't know if there's like a Twitter or Twitch thing against it. I get all my services mixed up these days. Real quick, sorry. Stand by, please hold. Did it there too. Django. There we go. Better. This hasn't crashed yet. So now I just got to figure out how I want to do this. What is going on there? That's blue and it kind of freaked me out. Oh, everything's running slow. All right. I'm debating about whether or not I want to try and do this in the scratch pad or actually just do it for real. I think we're going to try and do it for real and see what happens. Whoops. It'll just be kind of a work in progress. Get repo. So get init bear Django tools. Django, right. Clone it in. You're listening to different music than me, by the way. So, First thing we want to do, right, is set up 
Python environment. What happened to the rest of my notes? Oh, this is for command line tool. Okay. If X. Oh, this is it. Just looks different for some reason. Right, so we got the repo, we got the thing. BNV Django tools. Actually, let's do this. VM. Read me markdown. Django tools. Local Django tools site. Git add readme. Git commit m. Initial commit. Git check out. Branch dev. Uh, and we should have. Oh, yeah, we didn't actually. Oh, so that just created the virtual environment. It doesn't actually matter what directory you're in, apparently. That's just, that's just creating it and giving it a name. I got it. That's why you then have to do by EMV local EMV Django tools. Sweet. Git ignore. Let's get our git ignore going. This is just the get ignore I copied out of GitHub. Uh, and even though people make fun of me, oops, not what I meant to do. Django tools open add repository. Yeah, this is one of those where it's I'm not like super confident about getting into this, but. No time like the present, right? To kind of get going on it. Add git ignore and Python version, which I'm not sure if you're supposed to commit that or not, but we did. So we'll see what happens. Probably not. Django basic process, right? So we're going to do a few things here. I'm going to find, why is that over there? It should be over here where you can see it. Um, localhost. I just want to go through my notes a little bit for the tutorial stuff that I've been looking at. Which apparently is all the way on page three now. There it is. Yeah, 
Yeah, set that. Add strings you can see them, show list of files are gonna start, reverse lazy. I thought there was one other setup thing that this thing recommended, or that it got recommended, like the when you're just kinda of getting started. Whatever, all right, I'm just gonna move. So I really like this technique, those in Django for beginners, where you do start project config. So you name it as config, whoops. Yep. Install Django, DGANGO. Let's get whatever version's latest. 313, it was 312 last time I looked. They've bumped. Sweet, progress. Ah, oh, hello, sir. How are you? Get to watch me mess with Django. I mean, ma'am. Hello, Alice. Uh, we're gonna see how uh, how some Django stuff goes. Uh, Python pip and saw pip. Just get that upgraded. <laughs> don't worry. I don't think anybody else is watching. Should be fine. Uh, all right, so that's that. So now we can do, we can create the config project or create the project. Cool. Um, now with PyCharm, I think just open, but does that open as a project? Or does it make it a project when you do that? Dev. Django tools, open, new window. I like that it picks up the virtual environment. That is handy. I need to play around with my themes some more. I'm gonna start doing themes all over the place. Like, so I just changed up the uh, this because I had like a mint green on it. Now I've gone to brown and blue, which is kind of nice. Gif. Oh, there we go. Pages. Better than the green for sure. You didn't like the green? I thought the green was alright. I still need to mess with it a little bit more. It's not quite bright enough. But when I was doing it, it was like super bright and sunny out there, so it was tough to tell. It's getting washed out. Yeah, I ripped that all the way up there. But then it gets like hard to read. Like if the contrast is weird, it gets hard to read. So whatever, oh, that's close enough. Too close to nature. I see nature right out there every day. I don't go walk in it, but I see it. Uh, did we run this yet? I don't think we did. We did not. But yeah, so I changed the, this was black and now it's blue and like, but I, I need to change this color a little bit because it's, I don't know. I'm going to start just playing with themes a little bit. I need to get like really good theme sets going, which I need somebody else to have provide them for me is really what happens. But like clicking through all the ones that they have, I'm not a big fan of most of them. I also need to get chat where I can get on the screen and read it so it's not over on a different monitor. But I need a bigger monitor for that. Ding cells. You got the you got the colors, got all the cool colors. I'm gonna write a random generator for them too, so I just kind of make uh, craziness happen, right? Uh, all right, let's tone test this. Um, Python manage run server, I think is what it is. Oh, gotta do migrations. That's right. Well, let's see. Hey, it works. Okay. Uh, Python manage migrate. Oh. 
I couldn't for a second. I couldn't tell if you said lighting or lightning, because I could get the RGB lighting too, right? And have like weird colors coming on the shadows of my or the for the backlighting. But RGB lightning, it's a good uh, band name. I don't know. It's probably not a good band name. All right, we got pages. All right, so let's see if we can remember how to do this. It's been a bit. Um, so you need to go to settings and we add pages in here somewhere. Installed apps, pages. And then it wants me to set the time zone, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. America, New York. Everybody's favorite. It's angry right there, I don't know why. Use TZ equals true, time zone equals UTC. Oh, well, I'm just gonna use UTC. It's already in there. So let me update my notes. Because one of the notes I said, said made sure to do that. Doesn't look. Actually, let's do this. Which I'm glad it's UTC, actually. I was thinking about that, and like UTC is way better, right? Not having to mess with any uh, time zone stuff. I mean, you can do the, the conversions later, but like get everything in the database is UTC. See, this blue is a little bit too blue right now. It looks okay in the daylight. Yeah, that's what I need is nighttime colors and daytime colors, which is the whole point of dark mode and light mode, right? But I don't know if this stuff picks it up yet or not. So we're going to go into URLs. And we need to do... This is where I go look at my notes. Oh, no, it's not, it's not, it's I think I blew past it already. I saw some URL stuff in there, but then I wasn't sure if that was the right stuff. Oh, well, I'm just gonna try it. So I think you do includes, include maybe. And then we do path, nothing, include pages.urls. Do you have to include pages, I guess? See? I made a bunch of notes about how to do this stuff, but then I haven't like put it into consumable bits yet. Okay, there we go. Pages. Yeah, the other thing I was thinking about doing with this is trying to come up with kind of a better way to show people how to do it. These notes are all over the place. Yeah, include. So you had. to do URL patterns. 
So I was going back and forth with this idea of... I wish I could figure out where my notes start on this stuff. Uh, the idea of you actually break things first and then show people like the broken, like here's a break, here's a fix, here's a break, here's a fix, and do it that way. But now I can't figure out where I put all that stuff. I can do project. Oh, it's way down here. Is this it? Migrate, run server, make a homepage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's all the way down here. Line 1200 something. Include pages. Includes not defined. We add include. We make pages. So wait, is that what we're getting right now? Run server. Name pages is not defined. It needs to be called here, I think, but I missed that in my notes. But it's in installed apps. Oh, no module name. That's where we are. Wait a minute. This is confusing. This is working different than I thought. All right, I'm gonna mess with this a minute, just uh, just see what's happening. TKT. I don't know what that means. I'll look it up on another page so you don't have to see it anymore. That we're talking about. Teaching knowledge test. Oh, 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 TK, sorry. <laughs> uh, the, uh, so that's, um, Uh, it basically just says, like, to come, to come, to come. So stuff is going to show up there later. Um, or you need to figure out, like, what to do with it. That's what that is. I was like, I I don't see it, really, obviously. Uh, there you go. In the bottom parts, we don't have that as much. Just a bunch of to-dos. But I can't figure out why. I totally missed a step then here. Or I'm doing something different. Like, I feel like you need to include. Name error, include is not defined, includes, include path. Module not found, but that's, I'm getting a different error. Pages is not defined. It's right here. And. I thought that made it go right there. Include path pages URL, yeah. You may have to include it somehow, but like, I sure didn't see that earlier. This is gonna be boring. I don't really know what I'm doing here, so. the hell config settings pages I'm missing something silly probably gotta do this no that's from contrib what does that do
That's it. Okay, yeah. So you gotta import pages. I totally missed that in my notes. I swear you didn't used to have to do that. You love this. See, I want to have like a set of notes that's yeah, missing import. Yeah, I thought that was going to be it, but I thought that setting I I don't remember having to do that. And I thought this settings thing where you did this threw that in there for you. Um, but Django Contrib Admin is actually listed there, right? So I guess not. URLs. Django Contrib Import Admin, so. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna do this. Yes, please add. Uh... Line 1300, so let me do this also. It's really weird. I, I really don't remember that, um, but whatever. Include pages, start pages app, installed app, see pages, run, module not found pages URLs, right? So we add that URLs file. We're gonna put this in. That's gonna break because we don't have a home page. Return render. Request and then pages and page at HTML, which that doesn't exist. Oh, did I do my URLs yet? Path, nothing. If you use homepage, there we go. Oh, you know what I can do too? We can run this in here. Module pages has no attribute URLs. Sure it does, it's right there. URLs. Oh, why is everything different and hard these days? It's been <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. And obviously it's everything. These notes used to work. Pages, urls.py.
Oh wait, this is a different error. Attribute error. At attribute, however you say that word. Is this because I did that wrong somehow? Oh my god. That's what it was. I knew you didn't have to import that. Yep, nobody saw that at all. So that's the equivalent of like missing a semicolon, right? But like, I don't feel so bad because this is like, I don't do Django very much at all. This is really my first time really diving into it. So, um, but yeah. So now if we go here, template doesn't exist at page to same page. Okay, I know what's going on now. New directory templates pages home page HTML hello G Oh wait, you wanna have to restart this. You have to restart that? You do have to restart that, okay. Later, see ya. Have a good one. Hope it went well today. Study up for your T TKT test. Going awesome. Excellent. I like awesome. It's a very southern way to say it. Awesome. There we go. Cheers. All right. So let's add. Top level templates. And a base HTML. Actually, I guess we should do it right, right? Doc type, HTML, HTML. And then. Body, boldly. And I think it's block content. In block content. And our home page. Extends base HTML R and then we do block content in block content Template does not exist at base HTML. Uh, I feel like maybe you have to put this in the settings directory somewhere. Templates, yes. Do we want to do that or do I just want to keep it in pages? I just keep it in pages. Do 
we cut this. Now what happens? Does it find it automatically? No. So we need to go to pages. Temp pages base. There we go. So that's your basic setup. Now to put stuff in it. Uh, so now actually I'm going to go over. That's cool. Okay, so I like this. This is in good shape. I mean, it's in fine shape. Whatever. It's just a template. Um. But what I actually want to do now, or this crash, let me guess it crashed. I'll look at that later. Air reinitializing filters. I don't get it. Usually that means a filter uh, transition was longer than the clip that it was trying to transition over, but there is code in place to make that not happen. I thought. So we'll have to see what's happening. Oh, I get what's happening here. Uh, so what I want to do is go to... Django scratch pads, new window. Dead one's still running, because it should stop running if it is. This is cool, this is cool. Django scratch pads, NASA assembler, scratch pad, Django scratch pads, okay. Now I want to figure out how to do foreign key stuff. I've kind of seen before, but not really. Um, oh crap, okay, I'll do that in a minute. Uh, so, Python manage, run server. there okay same basic setup so what's an example that we can use um, how about teams yeah so, Django admin start app teams. Well, let's actually do this here. Django, DTA, and Geo, 2020, walkthrough. Look at teams in 01 Scratchpad. Actually, yeah, whatever. We're just going to do it and see what happens figure it out and then we can go back and rewalk it. I don't need to like write the notes. Sometimes I try and write notes while I'm doing it, but that's there's a lot going on with this, so maybe not so much. But we know config settings. Where do I want teams? This UTC, right? Yeah, okay. Does this have templates or no? No. Okay, that's fine. Cool. URLs. Teams. T 
beams URLs. Whoops. And then we're going to want teams, we're going to want players. coaches teams players coaches And then in settings, we're going to add teams, players, coaches, players, coaches. And all those are going to need URLs. I don't understand why they don't ship with the URLs. Teams, players, URLs for coaches. Find a URLs thing. Seems to be pushed over another tab. Uh, let's just see if we run the server. What? Uh, it's probably gonna fail. I just want to see what happens if we run the server after doing this with that stuff in there, if it actually explodes. Module Teams URLs does not have, have any patterns in it. Yeah, okay, so you got to put patterns in it. So we're in Coaches. Views Coaches. So here we're going to, need to do def coaches request return render request coaches index HTML. Oh, is that yellow? Okay, it's there. I shouldn't have added all these at the same time. That was not the good way to do this, but... Players. And then under pages, this is not at all the right way to do this. Um, views. Whoops. Oh, was I in pages views that whole time? No, that's home page. Pages. That's home page. I need to close some of these. I don't know what's going on anymore. All right, we're going to follow the error messages here. Teams URLs. Use teams. The other thing we need is templates directories in there. New 
folder or teams. Teams index HTML. Extends pages based on HTML. Block content in block content. and block content, teams index. Attribute model teams you use has no attribute teams. Teams URL. Yep, so that gives them views. Takes a request, return, render, request, teams, teams, index, HTML. Players URL. has nothing in it. So we're gonna grab this, come here, come here, come here. Players, go. Players. Views. Def players. Request. Return, render. Request. Uh, players. Players. Index. I said players 550 times right there. There we go. So those templates don't exist yet, so we're going to make them. Templates. Players. Players. Index. HTML. Block. Content Players Index In Block Content And then up here we need to do Extends Pages Base HTML Doing a very poor job of this because I should be checking all this stuff. Well, actually, let me see what's alive now and what's not. Teams. Template doesn't exist at pages base. Kind of surprised that didn't work. Same. Pages base. Uh... Just do base HTML. Which one am I on? Players. Base HTML. No. Oh, I guess it can't see up a directory. So you really do. okay? That makes sense. I was worth a shot. Uh, config. So we're gonna make a sibling directory here called templates. And we're gonna move base HTML in there. That was in pages. Wait, where did the base HTML go? Did I put it in players or something silly? Oh, did I do that on the other? I changed it. 
players, URLs, we're gonna close, URLs, we're gonna close. Players index. Pages. So you can do it, okay. I don't know if I want it up there or not. We'll leave it in... Nah, because we do it, then it's going to be kind of a pain. Yeah, let's move it. Because it's fewer characters to type. Can I control C it? Cut, I can. Paste. Do it. And then here we got to go into config, got to go into settings, got to find our templates. And this is where I've got to get the... Uh-oh. Tango templates dir base there's like six different ways that I've seen people do this but this I think is the one I like the most all right so that's in there I think you got to restart after changing this So base is up there. Let's see if it loads. This will be a good test. There we go. This is a test. All right. Doc type HTML. HTML. Body. Block content in block content. I guess you can just do this, right? And players index. Players index, there we go. Teams index. Excuse me. Joking. S E R A T C H pad. Scratch page. Um, that's where I wish I knew more CSS stuff right off the top of the bat, but I don't. That'll be something else I look at a little bit, probably during some of this. That's weird, it's... I would be way less doing stuff doing that. But then those will be more chill streams, I guess. We'll just see what happens. For now. Oh, wait, wait. So we can do a href equals quote URL. Teams, teams, teams index, right? Let's see if I can get this working. Ah, look at that. No reverse match found. Look at that. That's smart. Maybe won't you put something that doesn't exist. So if we go to teams, views, we 
No, URLs. App name. Teams. Name index. Blow it up good. Oops. Find. App name pages. Yeah. So in the URLs. Do you have to reload it? App name teams. Real patterns. Use teams index. Hmm. Oh, it's not a dot, it's a colon. I do kind of want to call it teams index though, even though it's... I don't know what the right thing here is naming convention wise, because I kind of like having it explicit. But like, that's not the same name as. The method, there's the whatever. View, I guess. Def teams. Oh, so that's something else we should do. You're uh, so yeah. We should actually make that go all the way through. Teams index, name teams index, view. That's players. We don't want players. We want teams. What like over there? Why is it just called view stuff? Like oh, 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 because there's not. Ah, that's cool. When there's two views up, it gives you the thing, the leading directory. Teams index request teams X. There we go. So it's teams index all the way through. I like that. Typo and word in block. think there is. Scratchpad 01, yeah, teams. Like takes us to our teams. Sweet. index, base, teams index. Okay, this is all cool. So base. Players index. Because like you would have, I'm just trying to think through the naming because like if it's namespaced, App name, players. Views would be index. Name equals index.
views would be index. And you could just leave it as player slash index. And that way you're calling stuff all the time. I don't know if that's a good way to do it, but we're gonna see how it looks like. So this would just be index. Yeah, see, I like this this namespace stuff, right? I mean, I want a namespace anyways, so that makes sense. Yeah, and that keeps you from having to preface everything with teams underscore, like it's a namespace thing. I know it's kind of the same thing, but still. It makes it consistent. Yeah, let's go back and do that for teams. Uh, we'll do that in a minute. Let's see if this works. This works? Nope. Refactor, rename. That's just gonna be index. Let's see how that goes now. There we go. Whoop, it's called team still. We need to change that. Players. Coaches. Coaches. This makes more sense to me. Coaches. Let's config. Let's go to coaches. Use index. Name equals index. Views, index, coaches, index. Lots of indexing going on. New directory, templates, new directory, coaches, new file, index, HTML, which is going to extend base HTML and then block do I have this I do block content coaches index oh coaches is not recognized namespace oh we missed it in the URLs nope not those URLs these URLs. App name equals coaches. Coaches. Extends. There we go. Coaches, players, teams. That's not bad at all. Sweet. Django scratch pads. Set up teams, players, and coaches stubs. All right, so now
we're gonna start actually trying to do stuff. Admin. Click the link. A couple things we use users a group, and I'll mess with a click. We need to do three and create our model definition. Run migrations. Add the app to the admin dashboard. Right, okay, so let's add. So we're gonna start with coaches. He says, sitting on the players page. So we're gonna go into models, create your models here, right? So this is the, I think this is the non-generic way to do that. There's like different ways to do all this stuff and it's, I'm still don't have my head around it, but like the, the views can be classes or functions, but I think the models are always classes, right? Class, coach. Models, model. Checklist text. So that's the name of the thing. First name equals models char field. First name. Max length, 100. Name last, ah, we'll do it, we'll do it last name. It's such a habit to have like name last, name first. Models, char field. Max length, 100. I really kind of wish these were explicit instead of just being like positional. Right? Python, manage, make, migrations, coaches. Python, manage, migrate. I'll get all these words together here soon. Did it migrate? I didn't watch it. It did, okay. Um. Add this to the ad to add the admin dashboard. Go to admin from dot models import coach. And then admin site 
register a coach, right? I'm guessing. Oops. Tango admin create. Super user. in the selection. Oh, manage. Create super user. Whatever. Python run server. Go. All right. Let's see what we got. So that's working. Do we have a homepage still? I don't think I put a homepage there. Yeah, I did. Okay. Admin. Yeah, it's working up there. Those are coaches. Okay. Turn. Did not like that. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, okay. Yes, return. Uh, self, first name. Self, last name. There you go. Okay, that's cool. Kind of like Django. I'm kind of getting my head around it. I've taken a few different runs at, but I've never just like done it. And so, also I've taken a bunch of notes on it for like some kind of creating a tutorial. Um, because I think there's a potential better tutorial out there. Um, it's funny because I don't need probably most of the stuff that everybody else is after, so or that a lot of people are after. Um, but like that is, lets me focus on the basics. So now, let's get players, or let's keep it simple. Let's start with teams. Class, team, models, model. Name equals models at Charfield. Could remember what it was. Team name, max length, 120. So 
So admin from dot models import team. And then admin site register. It is register. That was weird. Site. That's why. And then we migrate it. Uh, let's add the... Def string return self name. Python manage pi make migration for teams. Python manage migrate team. Okay. So now uh Oh. Oh, we didn't start the server again. I think I'm just going to do that there instead of on the lower one cuz I keep going back to it anyways. Uh oh, page not found admin coaches. What? Oh, my inner key's stuck. That's bad. I am definitely on the other. <laughs> it's the wrong thing. I love that Pi in V though picks up when you move environments. That's awesome. That's why uh Teams. Uh oh, why can't I add a team? There's nothing to do. What happened? First name, Models, Sharfield. Models, Model, Y. Is the comma throwing it off? Oh, the comma was throwing it off. Coaches, teams. Uh-oh. No such column, teams, team name. Let's try migrating again. Wait, let's look at the migrations. Apply migrations, all create teams. Could actually go look at the migrations. Let's look at the migrations, why not? Create model, teams, fields. Oh, there's nothing in it. Yeah, so that, that threw it. So let's look at coaches. Migrations, one. Yeah, see ID. So ID always shows up and then first name, last name. Okay, so that's what happened. It didn't uh, didn't pick up that comma after they threw it. That's kind of funny. So if we try it again, 
Python manage make migrations teams. If you're trying to add a non nullable field name to team without a default, we can't do that. Provide a one off default now, which will be for all existing rows. Okay, yeah. So there's not actually any teams in there. Provide a one-off default now. Select option. One. Because we don't want to have a default. Please enter default value now. As valid Python. Date times and Django time zone modules are available. So you can do YouTube time zone dot now. Type exit exit this prompt. So I think you just do. None. I'm curious to see what that did. It's under teams. Migrations to default none. Preserve default equals false. Okay, so it just throws it in for once and then Throws it back out. That's cool. People spent a lot of time thinking about this. Python manage. Uh, actually, hang on. I want to do this. Where's my teams? I want to use that as an example of how things can go wrong. Thing in, but didn't add the field until I removed the comma and ran it made and ran another migration. Teams, team, add team. There we go. Now here is where things get a little funny, right? Foreign keys. This So many to one relationships. I want a one to one relationship.
So to find a one to relent, use one to one field. A place optionally can be a restaurant. Place. Restaurant. See. Place models one to one field place. How do you make them go back? So a team would have a coach and a coach would have a team. Place can access its restaurant if available. P2 doesn't have an associated restaurant. Objects get place also works in reverse. Objects get place demons. Okay. Django, one, two, one, both directions. Two way, one to one relationship. What is the appropriate way to create an instance of the two following models? If two models exist such that each requires the other, they should usually be con combined into a single model. In any case, there's probably a better way to structure the classes. Personally, I construct a user profile as this. Because I'd want to see which... Because the team has a coach and the coach has a team. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. Two models are such that each requires the other. They should usually be gone to a single model. Personally, I would construct the user profile class like this, user profile model, or possibly. Oh, is a versus has a. For this post was deleted seven years by the author. Yo, how do you look up? Let me read this again. All right, so this is gonna be boring reading time, right? To define a one to one relationship. In this example, a place optionally can be a restaurant. Place has a name and address. Restaurant. One to one field with place. I wish they wouldn't have done this. 
output files are examples of operations to be formed in Python API facilities. Create a couple of places. Place one, demon dogs, address. Save. Base hardware, save. Create a restaurant. Pass the parent object as the object's primary key. Place is P1. See, it's not a many to one relationship. But, like, you don't want the models pushed together. Because they'd you, like you need to be able to coach might change teams. Without a new user page user parent. I'll subscribe below. User parent. User models one to one field user. Oh God. On delete models cost game primary true. Father name, mother name. User objects get. User two get. P1 is your user parent of user one, father, mother. So I guess that gives it enough of a connection. But you'd need to have it exist at the start. So under coach, you would do team. On delete, you wouldn't really want to do that. Teams. Like somehow you got to get team in here. My music is different than yours, but that's okay. Yeah, see, these are all in the same model.
but I want him to be able to jump, right? Foreign key, different app. That at least shows how to do the include. According to the docs, your second attempt should work. To refer to models to find another application. You must instead explicitly identify the application label. For example, if manufacturer model above, okay. I try to put it in quotes. Okay. Teams dot team. Close some of this other stuff out. So Python manage, make migrations, coaches. Provide a default now, one. Python manage, migrate. Didn't explode. Explode. Coaches. That is cool. Now the question is, how do you see, how do you see the coach here? So this would be coach and this would be team. So we're making places and then we put the restaurants in it. Okay. I think I just saw it. So a place can access a restaurant if it's available. So that means This would be teams.coach. get into the thing you just do python is that right or you gotta do i really don't want to have to use that i want to see it also it's good exercise to get on the thing but this is cool so this this works right now the other, the other question is like which 
Where should it be? It actually should be... Well, yeah, you could do... You could argue it either way. Um, but as long as they can get access to each other, and it sounds like they can. So how do we make... Don't we put in teams and coaches and all that stuff? Let's not put that on the homepage. Pages, templates, homepage. Yeah, okay. Extend base HTML. Block content. In block content. This is the block. Teams. Players index. Okay. Teams. Now I gotta remember how to do this. views teams index views so that's making all of those pages contribute checklist items templates back end there's a baster Switch that out to this. Checklist page, the item request we get. Checklist homepage. Four, so here's our render. So this is Teams, templates, That's weird. for team and teams, team ID, team, and four. Now I just got to pass stuff to that. So the context comes in, so I'm just going to hard code this for a second, which is going to look like this. I just want to get something there to see. That ID actually won't work, I don't think, with this, but whatever. Definitely picked up a semicolon there, or a that. Oh, we need to pass it as teams. I uh, see what's going on. 
context. Teams, teams, teams. We exploded it. Oh, wait, there it goes. Okay, so that's got it. Now I just need to populate that for real. From models. Import team. And then teams. equals team objects all Alabama world tide and now it's funny it doesn't like that but that's okay for right now anyways This is great because once I get the, there's only so many really connections that I need to make. So it's like ones to ones, ones to minis, whatever. So now, There we go, there's a connection back and forth. That's really cool. I shouldn't have used teams though, because I want to mess around with stuff, but I don't want to actually like jinx us, right? So I should have come up with a different um a different thing that like a fictional thing um or fictional names or whatever but like no nah, you still need like i don't know actors and movies or something like what i want a third yeah you, so you could do actors movies and directors i'm just trying to think of what would a good example of stuff be and that actually wouldn't be awful because you could like multiple actors could work with multiple in multiple movie or would work in multiple movies each movie would only have one director but several actors that's actually probably a pretty good example set Movies, directors, actors, etc. Books, authors. Uh, what are some other things like that? You can do artists and paintings, but like that's a little bit obscure. Um, I wouldn't want to do parties, like uh, political parties. That would be fraught. Aha! I'm listening to music right now. Um, musicians, albums, songs. This is cool, though. So that's got that going. And then...
Yeah, so this is one of those weird ones because it's like... There's also like the one to many thing. So that's a one to one relationship. Players, so each player would only be on one team. But you'd still want to have a one team to many players reference. I feel like this might be the backwards way to do this. You probably want to have Alabama have the coach. Yeah, that's probably the right, the better way to do that. And then what we'd have is This is funny, because I feel like this is way more straightforward than most of the tutorials do. It's Django. Is that what's going on? It's crazy. Um, so, next step up, right, is to get. Set up for an individual page. So like I'm cool using the admin to do the create, update, delete. Um, I don't think I've got notes. I'm sure I do somewhere, right? Django. Basic process. Still, these are all just, all my notes are all over the place with this. Out pages, custom user setups, lawyer mix in, add in foreign items, basic start. It's yeah, setting up foreign keys. See, these are all old notes. look at uh, the official tutorial and see what it says. Ugh, I have a... Uh... Yeah, this I like this way better, doing the config. So instead of my site, my site, it's my site, and then config. question choice. See, this is just such a weird jump. Oh, I just, I do not like this tutorial. Right now I'm just looking for the URL stuff. URL is not in that page, so it's not going to be here. 
This URL not on the page, that's crazy. URL patterns. Now it's time to web mail such beauties as blah, 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 blah. URL pattern, general form, your month. If you get Django, URL's comps, URL dispatcher. So this is what we do, right? And like all the, this is just such not a good tutorial. Yes, I could do better. <laughs> I'm going to try to do better. I will do better with that. All right, views. So which views are we in? I actually wish it would show you that. Django Scratchpad views, that's not helpful. Green teams views? Which views is this? Team. Just clean this up a little bit. Oh, this really should just be called index, and this should be index. I'm gonna fi fix those right now. That's gonna break something up here in base. That. I like that it actually asks you if you want to rename stuff or that's actually that's super handy I just my hands shake a little bit these days and that prevented me from doing something that I didn't want to do still alive still alive oops So this is Teams, oh, this is helpful. Actually, Teams URL. Path. Integer ID. I don't know if I want to use ID or PK. I just want it to be consistent. And I think you can use either one. So I'm going to use ID to start with. And I really wish Django didn't have the slashes at the end. I get why they do it, but like, it's kind of a bummer. Views. Team. name equals team team request id return render request Teams, team.html. Context. ID equals ID. Let's just pass that to start with. It is angry at every little bit of that.
for all the right reasons. Okay. There we go. Okay. Everybody happy? Everybody's happy. Why is this not happy? Pip eight, two blank lines. What? Oh, okay. Sure. What's wrong with this? Shadows built in name ID. Okay, so we shouldn't use that. We should use PK. Done. That's all I needed to see. I just needed a reason to choose one or the other. I was going to go with the... It didn't have a reason, so I was going to go with ID, but now I've got a reason, and it's going to be PK. Shadows. Shadows built in name. Also, if you're doing a tutorial, don't tell people, oh, you can use either one like choose one and then like I mean I guess if you are to see it or whatever but like yeah I don't know like say it once and then get it out of there and, but don't and then don't flip back and forth because some of the tutorials I've seen use both and it's just like what are you doing alright so we need team.html Oh, no, context doesn't come in. The only thing you get is the contents of context. Uh, also, we're going to want, oops, we want to do this. Extends base HTML. It's nice to be doing this and not that. <laughs> I like, I've really enjoyed the project I'm working on with the NASA video stuff, but like, I feel like I'm actually getting something done here. I mean, I was there too, but like, it's nice change of pace. How about that? Also, it's not, I thought it was done and then now it's crashing. I have no idea what's going on right now. Let's go do this, see what happens. Page loaded. If I do two, does that... Oh, it still loads. Oh, it's because it's getting... Like, yeah, you got to throw in the thing that says get it by ID or 404 it. Team. Nothing. Okay. So where's our views? Oh, because it's PK, so we're passing back now. I already forgot. There's one. 
And I think, yeah, so that's just, that's cool. That That's a good thing, right? It's not actually hitting the database or doing anything. So you can pass whatever you want there and do it. And it's like, actually, what happens? Oh, so it's set for an integer. So this shouldn't work. Yeah, it's got to be an integer. Now we gotta get the stuff. Object or 404 is the thing that we want to have. Raising a 404. See, I don't, this is, don't show this. All right, where's the a shortcut? Get object or 404. See, this is what we want. on shortcuts. So we got our model. And we got it. Team, team, PK, PK. Team, needs to be in quotes, right? Yes. Team, team. Why is that yellow? Shadow's name team from outer scope. Now, I guess that's kind of okay, but I don't. I guess you could call this team view. Index, team view. Yeah, we'll play with that in a minute. Let's see what this does. Alabama. Saving. So that makes sense. Now how oh yeah, and then the other way is Let's see tutorial should be this long. I don't know. Yeah, you should probably build the context out here like that better.
Yeah, okay, this is good. And then, so team, and then what you do here, right, is, uh, this is the team, we wanna to go to index, run the line. This would be URL for teams team teams team team dot PK right? Because that's what you're passing to it. Sweet. I'm getting an understanding of what's going on. Yeah, I gotta figure out database design stuff in terms of like, is that the right way to do the coach assignment? And I feel like I did it backwards. I feel like it should have been the team getting the coach because the team's gonna have players and the team's gonna have a coach. Yeah, it has a versus is a or whatever. I can't remember all the definitions there. So I'm a little tired. I may call it. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do anything else. Um So let's do one thing. Where's our base HTML? Oops. Teams, yeah. T select selected teams. Coaches. Coaches. Their pluralization didn't work as good there. I was trying to figure out how you would limit Because you really do want a one-to-one -one relationship going both ways. I mean, I guess you... Like, I'm trying to do... It's like referential integrity or whatever. Like, a coach has a... A head coach has a team and a team has a head coach. Because, like, here... with this team already exists. Oh. Well now. So it is a straight one-to-one. -one. Uh, 
I don't have the database design in my head for how to do that. Um, and you can't add... So on the teams, there's not a coach thing to hit. Yeah, you'd actually want to have the you'd, you'd want to have it the coach up here because when you create a new team, you want to create a head coach for it. Person already has to exist. Either way, but that's this is cool because it's got a lock saying that you can't have more than one. That's awesome. So that's doing what I wanted, like. Because you, yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm talking through this myself a couple of different times, right? But there's no, you don't make a selection on the team page to choose a coach. Coach gets assigned to a team, but like, it's only the one. Um, I'd like to see the database design for that, just so I can have a better understanding of how that's working. Which I can do, that's quite possible. Um, probably not this evening, though. Uh, let's actually do one other thing. I want to see... This thing, yeah, this thing died again. Um, I don't even think I re-ran it. This is the NASA assembler, the video assembler. It was working, and then now it's throwing different errors. I've got some logging, though, so I can actually go figure out what's happening. Um, that's for another time, though, too. Uh, let's see. What else can we do tonight? I'm very much losing steam. Um, so let's go. Let's show the coaches index page. Let's. I think we should be able to get that going pretty quickly, right? So coaches index HTML so we need to have in our coaches views right we're gonna pick up our teams views and so we're just gonna go and I'm gonna type this because I want to get it in my hands a little bit right So we need to get the model from models import coach coaches equals coach objects ball is it objects plural objects plural yes and then context equals coaches coaches and then we pass the context back where did our take base out of there take team out of there for a minute here's our coaches index Oops. So it's four. Okay. Four coach and coaches, because that's what's coming down. And we do end four just to close the block. Just see if that shows up anything. Yep, there's a dot. Cool. And then we've got coach. First name. Nick. There you go.
coach. Last name. And then team. Here's where it's going to get. Does this just work out of the box? Coach, team. It does. That's very cool. And so what might be really cool, href equals quote. Oh, whoop, hang on. That one always gets me when I do that. URL. We're going to go to team. Teams team. With an index value here, we're going to get this to where we can see it. Which goes to coach team PK. Alabama. And then on Alabama's page. Yeah, so we went directly there. And also, oh yeah, so we, we're gonna do that in a second. But let's get Alabama coming back here. Teams views. Teams index. Spread this out a little bit. URL coach coaches coach and then team coach PK Team coach. Ah, oh, reserve coach not found. Coach is not valid. Coaches URLs. App name coaches. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have that. Oh, that won't work. All right, take that out for now. Because we don't have a direct link to the coaches page yet. Teams, Alabama, coaches. Yeah, so we need a specific, wait, what is this page? That's teams one. Oh, okay, gotcha. So we're already on the team. We need that to be hot first. Okay, so now we need to make the coaches individual page. I wonder if you should call it detail. I, I like the idea of keeping the things named the same. Where's coaches URLs? It's a path. Integer primary key slash goes to views dot detail. Name equals detail. Yeah, see, I like this because we can, like, here's our namespace. Def detail. Request. Yeah, and then you don't have to worry about colliding 
Like you can you can main the thing, coach, and you don't have to worry about it colliding with this. Because earlier we had team and was colliding with team. I'm pretty sure that was where it was doing it. Coach equals coach objects dot. I don't know the syntax for this. Objects. Nope, not all. Oh, get object or 404. Team PK. Coach. PK equals PK. Return. Render. Request. Coaches. Detailed at HTML. Context, which we need to make right here. Yeah, see this? I really like this. This is very pleasant. Let's see if we can get to it first. Coaches. One. Unexpected keyword argument PK. I think I know what I did. First team's view. PK equals PK. Uh, why did that work? Oh, because I didn't pass it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think I know what's happening. I didn't catch it right here. That's where it was. Go H. There we go. All right, we're going to close a few of these off. I'll open what I need in a second. Detail. So extends base HTML. Block content. And block content. Coach, coach, first name. Coach, last name. Team, coach, team. That could work. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because now we can do this. I'm kind of surprised there's not another shortcut for this. There may be, but URL, it's going to go to teams, team. Really, what we want is team detail, right? Teams detail. Uh, teams, teams, kind of okay there. Um, coach, team, PK. So that goes to Alabama. And then now we're at Alabama, which is teams view. The team view, whatever. URL is going to be coaches 
detail. Yeah, that's fine too. I, I'm actually cool with that because it's always going to be the same thing. Coach's detail and then team, coach, PK. That's Saban. That's back to Alabama. Here's our teams. That goes there. Teams. And also here on the teams index page, we can do this. URL. Or let's just make that a thing. Django one, Python and Django. New snippet. Finally, a good channel. Very nice. Is this is a website? Uh, yeah. So I'm working on just learning Django, basically. So it's I'm not doing too much other than just kicking around and finding errors. So uh, it's kind of a website. I'm looking to replace this little PHP website that's for my local host, uh, where I keep tools and messing around with it. So yeah, it should be cool. How are you doing tonight? Also, you got here very close to when I'm about to go to sleep. So <laughs> sorry about that. I'm going to be up for a little bit longer, though, um, especially when I figure out what I broke here. Or until I figure out what to work here. Uh, let's see if this works, though. Uh, text expander. So let's put the cursor right back here. And now we should be able to make this happen automatically, right? AH go. There we go. Um. <laughs> Excellent. Happy Friday. Happy almost weekend. Well, depending on what time zone you're in, it may be the weekend already. Um, so either happy we almost weekend or happy weekend. Uh, so let's see, we're gonna go to team coach. So we're gonna go to coaches detail for team coach ID or PK, sorry. Uh, Django, by the way, in Python is what I'm messing with which I know the rest of the world has moved on to React, um, but I'm just catching up, so. Uh, and I know how to make this work faster. So there we go, there's all of our navigation around. Super basic, so I'm just trying to learn the basics of foreign keys um, and getting everything lined up. So this is just, you know, it's a scratch pad to kind of get things going. Um, Unfortunately, I don't want to add more teams. So here, let's add another team. So fake team two. Save. And then coaches. We're going to add a coach. Fake coach. Beta. He's going to go to fake team. So this should fail. Right, because it enforces that a team can only have one coach, which is awesome. But if we do this, come back to the site, go to our teams, there we go. Now I'm gonna fake team two, fake coach, whatever. Sweet. That's pretty much it. I like it. Um, and then the next part would be uh, players, like setting up one to many on the players. But I'm about to pass out. So I'm going to have to punt. Um, ha, it's a football joke. Uh, it's an American football joke, depending on what time zone you're in. Or latitude you're in. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got right as I was heading out. Um, but I am about to pass out. And that would be silly to do on stream. So uh, have a good one. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. And uh, be, be kind. Be be careful, watch out for crazies and all that jazz. See ya.